Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about a print operator in Coast Query. Print operator outputs a single row with one or more scalar expressions. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. We have seen this type of print operator in a SQL. There we would like to print some values. So this is pretty much the same in the Coast as well. So what you will do, you will say print and then put some values such as uh, in this case i'm printing tech browser it i put single quotes around it uh, so once i run it uh, it's gonna return me this uh, value so it's like a hello world now what we can do we can copy this uh, print uh, statement right here and uh, we can also try with the double quotes so, so let me put double quotes around it that's gonna work uh, the same there should be no difference uh, so, so you can see right there, there is no difference. So you can put single quotes around it or double quotes around your value. Now, if you would like to print more than one value here in the same row, so I'm saying a print name is equal to Amesh Azad, comma, address is equal to some address. So this is going to print a single row and uh, there would be two columns. One will be name and in the name uh, we print Amesh Azad and uh, then in the address column we print uh, uh, some address uh, now you can uh, use uh, if you need to do some calculations such as multiply division and all that you can uh, perform that as well and then uh, just print the values uh, so i'm saying print 4 multiply 3 in this case it's gonna return me 12 uh, you can see right there and uh, the header of the column is a uh, print uh, underscore zero now if uh, you would like to save some results uh, in some uh, variable and the uh, or sorry if you would like to save uh, or give the name to these results so you can always give a column name so here i'm saying print results equal to 4 multiply 3 so now it's going to return me results column here you can see that the results is equal to 12 now let's say if we would like to save the value in the variable and then print the variable we can do that as well here i'm saying let abc equal to 4 so i'm putting the variable abc equal to 4 and then i'm saying print abc so that's a uh, uh, same way what we are printing uh, be before so not a big deal so go ahead and execute and now it's going to uh, print that uh, value of uh, abc variable uh, again if i would like to give a name to it i can get, give the name so maybe i can say yeah, my column or whatever you know and uh, then uh, print it out and it's uh, gonna give the name to it uh, so my column and uh, that's the value of uh, variable four right there uh, now what we would like to do if uh, I'm saving the results of uh, uh, a table in uh, uh, into a variable so I'm saying let record count equal to and then uh, this is uh, the query that's going to return me the results uh, so let's run this query total and uh, this is 15 uh, right so this is looks killer value to you it is uh, but it is the uh, same as the data table so let's when I'm saying uh, let uh, record count is equal to uh, total sale sale uh, and then taken the count uh, is uh, return me uh, mm, sorry I can run this one and it is going to say no tabular expression statement found uh, okay so now if I try to even print this uh, out right there so let me say print and uh, this uh, variable value sorry print hold on one second result count right so I'm just going to paste right there and if I will say print this value right there is uh, going to throw me error because uh, the printer only prints uh, scalar values uh, and here uh, this uh, row count uh, or uh, sorry record count uh, is a uh, uh, data set uh, so what we have to do even if it is a single value what we have to do to print this uh, type of uh, scenario we have to convert uh, that uh, record count to the to scalar value so now if I run uh, uh, as uh, the complete set of this query, what's going to happen is going to print just fine. Uh, because here uh, I did uh, convert uh, this uh, record count to this scalar value. Okay. Now what we can do, there is another, let's say if I am doing some summarize and doing the sum on the item count and saving the total items, uh, that's possible. So let me run this part of it uh, and you will see some values coming through. So it is coming 54. Uh, that will be saved in uh, total uh, uh, items uh, sold. And now if I would like to print, uh, I will have to say print. And this is uh, the name of the column I'm giving on top of that equal to two scalar and then use uh, the value of the variable. So then it will be converted to the scalar value and print will be able to work on it now execute and you can see that total records equal to 
54. Now, if you would like to print uh, more than uh, one value, you can do that. Uh, see here, what we have, uh, we are saving our uh, uh, total save count into the record count and then uh, I am also doing total item sold and uh, doing the sum summarization so it is uh, doing kind of uh, um, uh, sum of all the items sold for the total sale table so that will be saved in this variable so these two variables I would like to print I can do that as well so print item count then in this case uh, I'm saying to scalar and getting the this variable uh, so I'm converting the data table to the scalar value and then uh, I'm going for the second uh, uh, item sold here so I'm saying uh, given a name item sold equal to to scalar and uh, total item sold right here uh, so now I can print uh, both of them uh, in one row so I have to run this first uh, so this is a uh, going to save the data in the record count variable then it's, this one is going to save the data into the total item sold and then uh, print is going to print for us uh, after converting them to the scalar values uh, here you can see that the item count is equal to that's our item count table name that we gave here is 15 and the total item sold is 54 that came from right here and this is the column name so that's how you will use print statement or print operator in Kusto to print multiple values at different points whenever you need it thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video